there you go. So now you know how to get a strider on your team. In the next video, I'm going to try and figure out how to make that strider actually path around the map. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Get off me. Hey there, Half-Life Alex Modders. Recently, I had a few people ask me about how striders work when you're making Half-Life Alex maps. So here's a map I was working on earlier. And what I've done here is I've added a strider in this big empty space in the middle of the map. And I'm also gonna add a bunch of zombies that are gonna come in and walk hopefully towards the strider. Now the important thing here is I don't want the strider to attack the player. So I have an AI relationship, which is over here. And that AI relationship is going to be set to ensure that it's friendly with the player. Now if I open this up, you'll see here I have NVC strider player. So this is a class name. I haven't named the strider anything. I just am using the class name. So any strider I add to the scene is gonna like the player. So I have like here. It's gonna start active and it's gonna be reciprocal. That reciprocal doesn't have to be here. The player can decide to like anyways, but I'm just gonna, as a habit, check that mark. Now by default, striders will attack zombies, but striders will not attack combine soldiers. So if I add some combine soldiers in here, the strider by default will not attack them, but he will attack zombies. So I don't have to set up an AI relationship to make the strider attack zombies. It's just gonna do it by default. Now just to make this more interesting, let's add in a few more of these zombies. So here we go. I'm gonna grab a NPC zombie. We'll add one there. We'll add a whole bunch here. All right, there. So this could develop into a map that's sort of like a town defense map. You'd have big walls, you'd have a whole bunch of, you know, a whole army of zombies coming through the walls and you'd have some of these striders on your side and you'd be trying to defend the people in this little town here. Now to ensure that your zombies can actually walk along your map, you have to make sure you have this uh, nav block right here. I've had it happen before where I've made custom maps and nothing would move around. That's because it hasn't calculated a mesh for where things can move. Now that's certainly not the technical way of talking about it, but basically you need one of these Funk HL VR nav markups add one of those blocks into your scene. And now if you check out the navigation, everywhere where it's blue is where things can walk. If you don't include one of these, sometimes your NPCs won't be able to walk around. So make sure you have one of these in here, this block right there, and you can always click nav preview and that'll show you this blue square about where things are gonna walk. So I think I have everything in here. If you wanna see more about how this map, the other stuff is made, I've got a few other videos that talk about building these houses and stuff. But for this video, the important parts here is I have a strider, I have an AI relationship so it doesn't attack the player, I have a whole bunch of zombies. I should also mention that if you want to add a new strider into the map, you can just go to entities here, type in NPC strider, and you can just click them right into the map there. And now we'd have two striders. And you can also move them around and try and position them to where you want. Here we are, there's my army of zombies, here's my strider. Now you'll notice when you add the strider into the scene, by default it's gonna be sitting in its idle animation. And the idle animation just moves its legs up and down and it kind of twitches around a bit, but it's not moving anywhere around the map. Also notice I've gotta figure out how to get it onto the actual ground. He kind of floats above the ground a bit. Now, he's not gonna attack those zombies until they're within a certain range. So I'm gonna try and attract them over here with some sound. All right, here they come. Now let's watch what this guy does. Unfortunately, the Strider's aim uh, is not terrific. And the damage is actually not even that high. You'd expect him to be one-shotting these things, but he's not.
Also notice, once these guys get close enough, the Strider can't even actually hit them. And I'm not sure if you can adjust that at all. So what I'd like to see is the Strider actually moving around, and I think I'll do that in the next video, I think. Oh, that guy's getting a bit close. There you go. So now you know how to get a Strider on your team. In the next video, I'm going to try and figure out how to make that Strider actually pass around the map. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Get off me. Um. Okay, so on the next video, I'm actually going to try and figure out how to get that Strider to path around the map and maybe make some intelligent movement instead of just standing still. So thanks for watching. If this is helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe.